How you doing, Boxing fans? Um, these are my thoughts from last night's fights. Let's start off with Kel Brook, Hector Saldivia. I was really expecting Hector Saldivia to bring more to the table. I really, really was. But, you know, Kel Brook's produced a great performance. Um, the, the uppercut knockdown, the first one, reminded me a hell of a lot of... Um, Lonito Donaire's knockdown, his first knockdown against Nishioko. It was a sweet, sweet uppercut. Kel looked much physically stronger, in my opinion, there, and more powerful. I think that's a lot to do with his nutritionist and his new strength and conditioning coach he's got in. So that was a great move from the Kel Brooks team. Um, where does Kel Brook go from here? Of course, he is the IBF number one contender. And who holds the IBF title? Devin Alexander. And Devin Alexander which Randall Bailey was shit poor last night, piss poor, shit poor, diarrhea poor, whatever you want to call it. It was one hell of a boring fight. If you got insomnia, just put that fight on, I promise you, that will put your ass to sleep. The, the Brooklyn crowd were booing, shouting out, boring. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I would have been doing the same if I was there. Devin Alexander looked really poor last night. And if I'm Kel Brooks, I'll be thinking to myself after watching that, Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring him to Sheffield. I'll beat him. I can do it. And, you know, after watching the performance that Devin Alexander put on last night, I don't, you know, I'm, 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 he should be thinking that. Hopefully we'll get that fight in Sheffield. And, um, you know, you know, we, we may have another world champion on our hands. Um, moving on, where should I go? Some, oh, some, you know, some good action last night. Where should I go? Where should, what fight should I talk about next? Peter the Kid Chocolate Quillins. Beats that French dude. Got to say that French dude's made out some hard stuff. I'm, I'll talk about him in a minute. Let's talk about Peter first. That left hook. Eh? Peter, I've, been, I've been a fan of Peter Collins for a number of years. Been following his career for a number of years, and I've always known he had power. He's had speed, and he's always had a beautiful left hook. And that left hook was sweet. That land. That reminded me of Tito Trinidad. That left hook did. It really did. And um, you know, Peter Collins put on a great show. I remember watching him, his last fight against Winky Wright. That was a good fight. But last night was sort of like his coming out party to the public. And he produced a great performance. And all credit to that French kid too. You know, he's made some hard stuff because, you know, he got hit with some big, big shots. Got knocked down. You saw, you saw his head rock back when he got knocked down. But he just bounced back up. Got back up. Recovered real quick. And got himself right back into the fight. All credit to him. All credit to the referee too. He could have stopped that fight early on. Some referees would have, but he let it continue, and it turned into a great, great fight for the fans. So cheers to the ref for that. Um, where does Peter Quillen go next? Where would you like to see him go? A lot of people talking about him fighting Sergio Martinez. I can't see that fight happening, because Sergio is at a late stage of his career where he's looking for pe big paydays, and Peter Quillen isn't a big payday. So I don't think that fight will happen. What fight I would like to see is Peter Quillens against Govekian. Um, they, you know, they both got world titles, and they're both powerful punchers. So that would be a great fight for the fans. Make that fight happen. Moving on to Malinaji v Pablo Cesar Cano. Great name, Pablo Cesar Cano. A very Mexican, powerful, a bit of a gritty name that was. And I'm a, I'm a fan of Pablo Cesar Cano. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. He, he got a really bad cut. But the man is carried on going, you know. Fair play to him. Man and Naji, I was disappointed with him last night. You know, his first defence of his world title. In his hometown, Brooklyn. You know, you got the legend Mike Tyson at ringside. I really thought Paulie was going to put a masterclass on for the fans. But, um... He just didn't do it, you know. Paulie looked didn't look that great last night. I think that what he did wrong last night was just stand in front of Kano and was happy to sort of box him from close range and, and happy to trade with him. And whenever you do that against a powerful puncher like Kano, and you know, and you don't and you lack power, it's always going to be a risky move to do. And of course, Kano went on to knock down Manlaji later on in the fight. I would like to see Manlaji sort of, you know. Get in there and get out a little bit more, you know. Use that jab, get in, get out, get use them quick hands, throw combinations, and turn Kano, you know, in and out. I would like to see him box Kano a lot more. He did at times, he did box Kano, but then I think he was happy to sit there and train with him a bit too much, in my opinion. I think he done the same mistakes against Hatton too. Against Hatton, he was happy to sit, in, you know, at 
punching Ranger with Hatton and trade with him. Um, talking about Ricky Hatton, of course, Malinardi, where does he go next? There is talk about the Ricky Hatton fight, the rematch. If I was Ricky Hatton sitting back last night watching that, I'd be thinking, you know what, bring it on. You know, because I don't think Paulie looked that great last night, and Ricky will be sitting there thinking, I've beat him once, I can do it again. I'm sure the fight will happen, because Ricky's a big payday for Paulie, and Paulie holds a world title, so that's what Ricky wants, is a world title. So they've both got something that they both want from each other. Um, so, you know, I'm sure that fight will happen. Um, moving on to the main event. I shed a little tear last night, I really did, because the great Eric Morales, the legend, I just didn't want to see him go out like that, I really didn't, let's be honest, you know, Eric Morales shouldn't have been in that ring last night, he shouldn't have been in that ring last night, he, Eric Morales should be retired, he should be retired, and well, now he is retired, but, you know, he shouldn't have been in that ring last night, um, that knockout from that big left hook, and I've got to say, Danny Garcia packs a hell of a lot of power, that big left hook of his, just ask Amir Khan, ask Eric Morales, when that landed, and, you know, Eric Morales went flying, you know, halfway through the ropes, you know, it was bad, it was bad, I didn't want to see him go out like that, I really didn't, it really upset me, the man's a legend, Eric Morales, you know, let's talk about these men, like, the Barrera fights, when he beat Pacquiao, um, just recently, the Marcus Medina performance. What a performance that was. Um, so I was really upset to see him go out like that. Um, hopefully now, you know, he'll just retire and call it a day. Uh, for Danny Garcia, I'm not going to give him that much credit for that win because I think a number of one, you know, a number of 140 fighters would have beaten the Eric Morales that was that turned up last night. You know, so it wasn't. It's in my opinion, it wasn't that great of a victory for Danny Garcia, so I'm not going to give that much credit for that, yes, the knockout was vicious, <laughs> it was vicious, but I'm not going to give him credit for beating up an old Eric Morales, how I said, a number of 145s, Rios, Mike Alvarado, um, Lucas Matisse, even Khan, you know, would have probably beaten, that. No, I'm, I'm not even probably, I'm 100% sure would have beaten that Eric Morales, um, so where does Danny Garcia go next? A lot of people saying they want to see him fight Rios. You must remember, Rios is a top-ranked fighter. Danny Garcia is a um, golden boy fighter, so I doubt if that's going to happen. But Lucas Matisa is a golden boy fighter, so that would be a great fight to see for the fans. I'd love to see that. But in my opinion, I've got a weird feeling. I've got a feeling that golden boy promotions are going to push... Danny Garcia and his team into taking a rematch with Amir Khan. So I think that's what will be next. Will be Danny Garcia vs Amir Khan the rematch. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll, you know, I'll watch that. I'll watch that. Um, but that's you know, these are these are my thoughts of last night's fights. There's a lot of action last night. Give me your thoughts. Let me you know, tell me who what you thought of last night's fights. And last but not least. I hope you join me on this, a salute to the great, the future Hall of Famer, Eric Morales. God bless you, my son. Take care, guys. Give me your thoughts on last night's fights. Peace.